I believe it was my grandma's, maybe my great grandma's. They were very poor, so they had to work with what they could find. Okay. It's called a bib necklace. It's a fabulous necklace. It was made in the 1950s, 60s by a company that we used to call Juliana on the jewelry itself. It's not marked in any way, mm -hmm. but they use paper tags, and so the paper tags were lost. Yeah. About two or three years ago, some people doing research on costume jewelry discovered the two fellows that had this company in New York. They were called Delita and Elster. And so now we know the jewelry as D and E. Oh. They have different sizes of this necklace. This is the gargantuan really? size. Really? <laughs> now, as soon as I saw it, I knew it was from the 50s and 60s, and there's a couple of reasons why. Okay. First of all, these rhinestones right here, this is called a crystal aurora borealis rhinestone. Okay. And they only had that coating from the 1950s on. My second clue is these amazing cabochons. These are called Easter eggs. They look like eggs. It's uh, porcelain or glass. And we also have green tourmaline rhinestones. We have pink aurora borealis rhinestones. We have orange <laughs> rhinestones. You name it, we have it in this necklace. That's right. On a retail level, these necklaces routinely sell for between $800 and $1,000. <gasps> oh, go grandma. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I thought maybe a hundred. And I hope you wear it. I do. Excellent. I love it.